Hey guys, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here and that subscribe button is red, then you should click it because if you don't want my face to get lost into YouTube, then I suggest you subscribe because it's free and it's really easy. Anyway, this video is going to be about my Rook piercing. It's right here and I'm gonna give some like close-ups on it. I'm gonna tell you guys how I clean it, some like frequently asked questions about it and all of that. So just stay tuned. Okay, so the first frequently asked question is how bad does it hurt? The pain level is, I'd say like a five out of 10. I'm kind of like a weenie, like I said in my septum piercing video. I'm a big baby, so everything hurts me. I was kind of a trooper with my septum piercing because the lady was really good and experienced and she knew how to do painless fast piercings. Like that's what she was known for, was very, painless and very fast piercings so mine on the rook hurt a little bit more than the septum the septum for me was about like a three out of ten and um the rook piercing was about like a five or six it was a little bit more painful than my other piercing it was so worth it i think it's really cute i can't wait till i can change the jewelry because it's not my first choice of jewelry but it's all right it's all right for the time being i'm gonna put gold hoops like in all of my holes and all my piercings so that's why you kind of see two gold hoops here gold hoop here gold hoop here and I have a trick is too. I'm gonna put a gold hoop there, a small one, soon enough when, when it's done healing. But yeah, so the pain level for me was like a five out of 10. Was like not too painful, but wasn't like easy breezy, you know? Next thing that's frequently asked is the cost. So I went to a place air the I went to a place here in Nashville for my piercing and all of the ear piercings there, I'm not sure if all the piercings period or if it's just ear piercings, but all of the piercings at the place that I went is twenty dollars so it's really in in what's it called inexpensive that's the word okay yeah it's very inexpensive to get it there at the place that i went i'll put all the information down in the description box if you want to know more but um yeah where i went it was twenty dollars you know price fluctuates depending on the area so it might not be the same for you but that's how it was for me healing is another question that i got so healing is it's easy if you do what you're supposed to do um, with cleaning and everything. And my piercer gave me like step-by-step -step instructions on how to take care of it after you get it and like how to make it heal. And you can also do some home remedies to help steer away from infections and things like that. So I'll be letting you guys know some of that later on in the video too. So the piercing that um, my piercer put in my ear is a barbell that is like slightly curved. It's not a complete curved barbell, but it's a slightly curved barbell. He said it was gonna take anywhere from like four to six months to heal, depending on your history and like healing or like if you're prone to infections and things like that. Yeah, it was just a pretty simple piercing. I keep like turning my head so you guys can look at it. It's kind of up in there. So for cleaning, what I do to clean my piercing is I take a Q-tip and I take warm salt water and I like swirl it around in the warm salt water and I like, you know, apply it to my ear, clean around it to get the crusties, you know. You're not supposed to twist it or anything like that because that is kind of equivalent to picking a scab and you don't want to draw out the healing process any more than it already is. So you don't want to twist your piercings when you first get them. I'm not sure if this is titanium or uh, I believe it's surgical steel um, that he pierced my ear with. It's either titanium or surgical steel. One of those. But those are like the best things you can get your hair, ear pierced with just so that it doesn't get infected. So yeah, if you want, if you do have an infection or if you think you're going to get an infection, a thing you can do is add some drops of tea tree oil to your solution, your little mix like saline solution or if you use sea salt and water warm water you can add a few drops like three to five drops of tea tree oil because it's like an antibacterial it's natural antibacterial so, so you can add it to the solution and it will help fight infections pro tip the rook also gets confused with um date piercings which are good for helping headaches and things like that migraines so a lot of people will get a date piercing because it's really good to help with migraines but a rook piercing is not the same as a date it hasn't helped like i don't really get migraines that often but it hasn't done anything with my migraines that i know of so i mean 
it's not really known to like fix migraines. Yeah, a day piercing is right here around this. A day piercing is on this part of the ear and the rook is on the higher part which my part of the ear where the date is supposed to be is not that prominent anyway okay so at the end of this video i will include a portion on how i clean it and i'll show like a demonstration on what you should do and how often you should clean it you should clean it two to three times a day um and that might seem like a lot but if you want your piercing to heal properly you have to have proper aftercare aftercare can determine how fast your piercing is gonna heal. So I recommend taking good care of it after you get pierced. My piercer said not to touch your piercing unless your hands are clean. I just washed my hands before I did this video because I was cleaning. Yeah, you wanna make sure that your hands are clean before you touch the piercing, before you clean the piercing. That should be self-explanatory, but yeah, most of the time you don't really know where your, your hands have been. Like you know where they've been, but you don't realize how many things you touch that have bacteria on them and how many people touch that before you did. Or if you touched it before and your hands were dirty so you just want to make sure that they're clean and that they don't have anything on them uh, before you touch your piercing and it doesn't really get in the way of my hair like the rug piercing is pretty far in your ear like up in there it's kind of in a little pit in your ear so you don't really have to worry about your hair getting caught onto it as much as you would with the cartilage piercing or with the tragus piercing because with my tragus I realized since I like to put my hair behind my ear sometimes um, my like sideburns or whatever like the hair that's closer to my ear will get stuck on it and when I put my hair behind my ear kind of tugs because it's caught onto my piercing so you want to make sure that you know your hair is not getting tangled up in it and when you take a shower it's not really as difficult with the root piercing because it's kind of like out of the way but yeah, that's basically all that you need to know about the rook piercing. It's a pretty simple piercing, in my opinion. One thing that I did notice is after I got it done, when I like laugh or when I make facial expressions, my ears kind of move along with it. So after I got it done, I was talking to my friend and everything. We were like in the car chilling and I started like laughing or like, you know, making drastic facial expressions and my ears started hurting and I was like, why does this hurt? Like it it's in there it's not like i don't know it was it was hurting whenever i made an expression and it's because it's connected to well it's closer to the back part of your ear so if you push your ear forward <laughs> that makes me look weird but if you push your ear forward it kind of hurts at first um just because it is on the back of your ear or it's connected to the the meaty part of your ear that's the only way i can explain it but yeah an fyi i don't know if anyone makes you know if anyone naturally moves their ears like i do but that's what happened to me after i got my piercing i realized that and i was like oh i can't make certain facial expressions or i can't like move my ears when i talk or whatever because it kind of hurts unfortunately i don't know the size of this piercing that he put in because he didn't really like let me know he just told me what i needed to know and i don't think he realized that i have a youtube channel and some people do want to know the size of the ring just like with the septum piercing i went through that in the beginning everyone's asking me what size is your ring like what diameter what millimeter what what's this and that and i was just like the standard one that you get it pierced with like she didn't put anything different and it wasn't like anything special so yeah it's just the standard size that you get it pierced with i believe like 16 gauge or 18 gauge one of those i think this one looks like a 16 gauge but i'm just I don't take my word for it. I'm just assuming. Now I'm gonna show you how I clean my piercing. lady like a big titty okay well i kind of burned the glass but it's all good it's all good man you can't be texting me during my videos will Ugh, i don't know if i should change this lens 
Okay, so this is the close-up lens. Very blurry lens. And then... And this is my other lens. Which I don't know which one I should use, but... We're about to go on with this video. Yeah, I don't know about this. It's a little too zoomed out. I need it closer. Not that close. Track my face. 